All right, now it's time to get the solar panels prepped and ready to go on top of our frame. I'll do the frame here after a bit, but first we're going to get some solar panels prepped. So, a couple of tips here. They're heavy. Mine are way over there. Now, you can put them on a truck, but I prefer just carrying them over here. And I carry four at a time. Get your four panels over here, get them over here, and then do four panels. Kind of that way it gives you a little break. Anyways, how I do this, as cheap as I can find, is to get these Z brackets. Now, you can get you a really fancy system, really nice pan, uh, uh, rails and all that good stuff. Or you could go dirt cheap like me and get these guys off of Amazon. And a couple of tips that I have here. First of all, they're extremely easy to set up. All you do is you got one bolt right there and nut under the side. Get you just a couple of little tools. One to tighten it down, one to hold. That's it. Make sure that your Z bracket is on the outside because they're going to attach together. And another tip that you want to make darn sure is that they have a little leeway, a little movement. You want to push them, and I push them all to the outside. That way I know that they're all going to line up perfectly. And all of these, every single panel, for all four of these panels will attach together. So that way when we ground them, they're all going to be attaching, so they're all going to be grounded. So you I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So when you have this, look at that. These can move back and forth. I don't know if you can see it, but they're moving about a good quarter of an inch or so. So what I'll make sure is that they're all to the outside. So this one comes down, that one goes out. So they're all to the outside. So that way I know that these are all pushed out and that's it. Now we got them all down here. We'll tighten that guy up. We'll do the rest of these four here, and then I'll have eight done and 40 more to go. Okay, I'll show you the end result here after a while. Go. Okay, so now as you can see, we're starting our frame building. And a few things to note with the frame building. This is built out, if you can tell, out in the middle of nowhere, which most of these are. And we have built it on a hill. So it's not level at all. There's a whole bunch of roots everywhere. And when we tilled, there's just no real good way of making it perfectly, perfectly straight. So what I like to do is as we build the frame, I put up the solar panels as we go. That just ensures that everything is good and straight and you don't have this humongous frame built and you go to put the solar panels up and nothing matches up. So as we go, we build the frame. So the first thing we do, we put a board up at the top and make sure that's good and level. And then we know that it's 164 inches because we measured and you can show them over here. So we measured from the outside of this bracket right here to the outside of this bracket right here. Got them all lined up and it's 164 inches. So we know that this is 164 inches. So we know that in order for this to work properly, to line up properly, our board on the outside, from this board here to the outside of that board up there, needs to be 164 inches. So we got that all measured, and now we're putting the, the boards inside. And so each one of the brackets we have measured, and you put a board. And then you'll measure again from that one and put another board. You measure again from that one, you put another board. And those will be where each one of the panels lays. So right now what we'll do, we're gonna get one of our first panels and we're gonna lay it up here and we're gonna screw it on, make sure it all works perfectly. All right? Yo, oh. peace. All right, so as you can see, we got our first panel up there. We measured it out. We know exactly how far it is. And the first board was perfect. Now what we'll do is we measure from there to here for our second one. We'll put our second panel up, lining up the screws. And a note, I use two and three quarter inch screws, big long screws, I figure. Overkill is better than not overkill. So, 
big long screws, lined it up, working perfectly so far. So now we're going to get our second panel. We'll lay that one on, our third panel and fourth panel. So we'll show you what that looks like here in just a few minutes. Okay, okay so here we are. It's been about a day later and you can see we're moving through it. We got half of the panels up and we're keeping the theme going. So we put a board up top just like we were doing before, board on the bottom, board across, and then our boards here, which because our ground is so uneven, you can see we got our tiller out. You can show them that we have to till to get the ground more level. It's very unlevel here. So as we've gone along, some of the boards have been warped right here. And we can, we can show them here. Some of these boards here as we've been laying it in, they're not exactly straight. So we've been adjusting as we're going. So you can see here, while well, we got them lined up here, it looks good, but as we've gone through here, we've had to move some of them. We had to make some small adjustments. So that's why I say it's a lot better. And as you can see, if you get it right over here, you can see how we're screwing these together. So we're overlapping the two right in the middle and putting a screw right there with one board going right down the center here. So that's how we're laying all of these out. So as you can see, we're looking underneath you can see the front it's getting big we got half of our panels up so you can tell this is going to be huge there's going to be a monster system that we're putting in here it's going to make a lot of power and another note like i had said before but you can see right now underneath all of the wires we're going to have our inverter at the other end so all of our wires we're making sure that they're on the left hand side that way they all reach and can connect into each other. So if you were going to put micro inverters or optimizers on, you would want to do it beforehand. They all screw in right into the middle right here. That's where your micro, so you want to do that when they're not up on here, because right here, it's very hard to get to. You might be able to get to that one, but this one up here is going to be very difficult. So when they're on the ground, you're going to want to put your micro inverters in. We don't have to worry about it because we've got a good south facing area here there's no trees blocking our way this won't be shaded at all so we don't have to worry about it we can put it directly up but we're just making sure that they're all lined up every single one of them has the cables on the left hand side so there you go see you guys